Assalamu alaikum. Hello friends, how are you? Today I'm gonna show you how you can install a local 5M server on your PC. I already make uh, two or three videos, but uh, today uh, I'll show you from A to Z because there is lots of people who are facing lots of problems. So today I'm gonna um, figure them out all in this video so i'll make a list for the start first we have uh, to download zamp okay we're gonna start from here this is zamp uh, website i'll give the link in description you can download it from there click on the download button and it's gonna download um, whenever you install it just install it in an other drive don't install it in the C drive okay so after that uh, we have to download and install the Heidi SQL I'll also add the link in the description so uh, download here 64-bit uh, 32-bit it's depend on you click on it and it's gonna download and install it okay so after that we have to download the artifacts for this we have to go to the PC this PC and select a drive where we're gonna install our uh, server I'm gonna add it in my T drive make a new folder name it uh, test server or whatever you want test server enter into it make a new folder artifacts okay enter open it up now we have to go to the browser google right here 5m rt facts enter on the first site first link click on it and click on the latest recommended it's gonna take some time to download okay now we have to go to the downloads and uh, here is the server to double click on it and it's gonna look like this okay now we have to go to our artifacts folder uh, test server artifacts it's empty uh, control a and drag and drop all the files will copy to the folder to the artifacts okay it's here now the next step is download the server this one okay the link is in description uh, you can download it from there okay it's here after download double click on it and open it up okay everything is in it resource uh, server.cfg resource.cfg permission dot uh, sorry premium dot sql permission.cfg okay and lic.cfg here's the some uh, license keys here okay okay so now uh, open up the artifacts and double click on the fx server double click on it click on allow it's gonna redirect you here on tx admin link account continue you have to add a password read create master account okay on the first step you have to click on next on the second name whatever you want just name it um, I'm gonna make it test server next this time you have to click on local server data it means you already have a local server data in your computer click on it 
now they want a uh, uh, a location where you download your where you add your server so once again go to the artifacts text server text server here is the tx data click on it and here i'm gonna make a new folder the test server enter double click on it and now open up your server that you download drag and drop it's gonna take some time and extract it in the test server so before giving this uh, location to here we're gonna edit the server.cfg see added server.cfg to add license key and steam hex id okay so now here is the server.cfg uh sorry um in my uh, server i add license key in my lic okay we're gonna add our license key here and uh, the hex id will add it here okay here is the steam hex id now let me show you how we can get the license key and how we get the hex id go to lic here is the address to find the license key paste it here enter it's gonna take some time to verify me i'm human or not Let's click on sign in if you don't have an account so create an account first on cfx.re okay okay so here i have to click on the new server register a new one we're gonna make it test server and uh, here you have to give your ip address go to the browser uh, right there my ip and press enter your ip will be showed up and add it here and pick a type other home hosted i'm gonna make it home hosted okay i'm not a robot click on it generate so here is the id as the key that we create copy it go back to your server lic.cfg paste this that id here control v control s after that we have to add our hex id in the server.cfg i already make a video how you can get your hex id get your hex id and add it here after that rename this one okay name it uh, with your name okay now after done these two steps we're gonna add this location control c to our tx admin here control v click on next see after that click on save done and now save and start the server this will never start because we didn't add our uh, sql yet so after that we have to add our sql now you have to start the zam right click run as administrator when it start it's look like this okay if uh, there is crosses so just click on them and it will show you like this click yes to install the it's showing me filezilla because i'm clicking on the filezilla so when you click on the apache or mysql so it will show you the uh, install the apache and mysql 
click on yes and they will be installed after that uh, we have to cross it we don't need it we just have to start it okay after that we have to open up our Heidi SQL click here new name it test server okay and open it up it will show you like this cross it because we don't need oh sorry because we don't need it yet after that go to the server folder here right click on the premium.sql file right click on it uh, open with choose another app click on Heidi SQL and press on OK and it will redirect you here click on test server and it's gonna show you here premium.sql and it's open here okay all the SQL is here just click on the play button uh, and it will execute the premium SQL uh, we don't need this click on no but you click you but you have to click on yes okay and now we have to restart the server go to TX admin and restart all the files are loaded no error everything is done okay now it's time to connect with the server start the 5m so the server is starting up uh, it's gonna take some time for the first time setup okay so because of uh, i already have my character in the sql so that's why i don't have to make a new one but uh, when you enter in the server you have to make a new character okay um now p slash set group group when you add your hex id in the server.cfg after that you have to uh, get the powers get the admin powers in the game you have to write this command t slash set group your id is uh, one because we just start the server uh, space super admin and see i have the super admin. okay uh, and also click on it and permission level 5 or I'm gonna make it 100 money bank you can set it here okay there is some more uh, configurations uh, in the files uh, like uh, there's on the Brooklyn RP city RP on the top uh, I'll also tell you how you can remove it and uh, there's some more things uh, like the server name and other things i'll also tell you how you can fix them okay uh, in the next video so um, thanks for watching i hope you understand and uh, also like the video subscribe my channel and share this video thanks for watching allah peace